In our next problem, we're going to graph a system of linear inequalities. Graph the system of linear inequalities where the first equation is 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4, and the second equation is 2x minus y is greater than negative 1. We'll begin by looking at the equation 2x minus y equals 4. We can graph this by using our intercept method. Let's let x equal 0 and solve for y in the equation. We'll have 2 times 0, which is 0, minus y equals 4. That would be negative y equals 4, so y would equal negative 4. If we let y equal 0, we're looking at the equation 2 times x minus 0, which would be 2x, equals 4. And that would give us 2 times 2 equals 4 to give us an x value of 2. Let's plot both of those points. We're going to graph in the point 0, negative 4 on the y-axis, plot the point 2, comma 0, that would be on the x-axis. Now we're going to draw this in. Notice that in our inequality, this straight line is not a strict inequality in that we have 2x minus y is less than or equal to 4, so we're going to draw this in as a solid line. Next, we need to test a point to determine which side we're going to shade in, which half plane we're going to use, and we can test the origin pretty easily. If we're going to test the origin in our inequality, that means we're going to substitute in a 0 for x and a 0 for y. That would give us 2 times 0, which would be 0, minus a y value of 0 is less than or equal to 4, we can see that 0 is less than or equal to 4, which would be a true statement. And so we want to include the origin as part of our solution set. To do so, we're going to shade in on the side of the line that includes the origin. Next, let's go to our second linear inequality. We have 2x minus y is greater than negative 1. We'll begin by looking at the equation 2x minus y equals negative 1. And we'll use the same procedure in that we'll plot our intercepts. Let's let x equal 0. That gives us the equation 2 times 0, which would be 0, minus y equals negative 1. That would be negative y equals negative 1. And that would tell us that y would have to equal 1. Next, if we let y equal 0, we're going to have 2x minus 0, which would be 2x equals negative 1, and we come up with an x value equal to negative 1 half. Now we'll plot both of those points. We're going to have the point 0, comma 1, which would be one unit up on the y-axis, and we're going to have the point negative 1 half, comma 0, which will be on the x-axis, one half unit between 0 and negative 1. Now when we graph in this line, between those two points. We're going to look back at our inequality to note that we have a strict inequality which tells us that we want to graph this in as a dashed line. One thing you may notice is the fact that these two lines appear to be parallel and in fact it turns out that they are. You can see that the coefficient on x and the coefficient on y are the same, and we just have another number here. If we put these into slope-intercept form, we would determine that the slope of each line is 2. Now, let's continue with this by using a test point. We can see that if we take the origin, it would be below the line. Let's test that point in our inequality. So again, we're going to test 0, 0, this time in our second inequality. We're going to have 0 minus 0, that would be 2 times 0, minus 0, is greater than negative 1. 0 greater than negative 1 is a true statement, meaning that we want to include the origin in that half plane that's going to be shaded in green. So we're going to draw now, including the origin in that half plane. What we're looking for now as the solution is going to be the section of the graph where we have both the orange and the green shading. And I'm quickly going to point out that that would be between the two lines that we have drawn. And that would be then our system's solution set.